Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we're in the fish room, it's evening time, I've just been doing water testing on this tank and it's finally full. This tank was my original discus tank, this was the tank that I got for my 40th birthday, it was a, a custom built tank by Fit Filtration in Sheffield. Um, and it came to this house when we moved here, but unfortunately we had a bit of a faux pas when we moved it here and some cables got trapped underneath the tank and in between the stand and when I didn't notice them and then filled it with water it basically cracked the base so there was a bit of a debacle of me trying to reseal it and refix it with extra bits of glass and putting in some panels of acrylic and things like that ultimately it, it held ish for a bit but always had a bit of a small leak I've been using this tank as a um, stopgap whenever mega tank had problems I would keep the big fish in here because it kind of held water so for the last wee while I have been stripping this back, I've actually just put in a fibreglass base, of, it's not the prettiest of jobs but it will do the job, a fibreglass down the bottom, covered it with liquid rubber, good old liquid rubber, and filled it back up again. And it's been leak tested for the best part of two days, and it's fine, so I, I trust it now, I think it'll be fine, it's on a hand-built stand, it's just my general stand, I think you had made a video about this stand is no different to any other stand that you can see on the internet. So it's a generic bog standard bit higgledy piggledy tank, but it holds water and it's big. That's what we want. So if you've joined me in previous videos, you know we've been talking about what to keep here. So I can't keep the suspense anymore, basically. It's Humphrey! Yes, Humphrey is joining me in this tank. If you've joined me in any of my live streams recently, you know I've been talking about this. I had a choice of two. I have a discus tank up in my main house, which I want to bring down here. I want to bring the fish down here because it's so much warmer down here. It'll save me lots of money and energy bills and things like that by having the discus in the heated fish room. So I'm definitely going to bring them down here somewhere. But whether I put them in this tank or another tank in there was the question. Because the other thing I wanted to put in here was my flower horn. Humphrey. Humphrey is pretty much the channel mascot. He's even all over my merch. If you want to buy a t-shirt with Humphrey's embroidery on it, aquariumadventures.co.uk, you can get that. Um, he's Discus are my favourite fish, but he is my favourite fish, if that makes sense. The thing that swung it for me was, although the discus are beautiful and it would be lovely to have a discus tank here with a fantastic aquascape and beautiful fish and all, all serenity, all that good stuff. This is a very plain tank, but Humphrey will appreciate this way more than any of the discus would. Discus are a bit like the cats of the fish world. They don't really care about me or anywhere else. They're just busy looking pretty. That's all they care about. Humphrey is a puppy dog. He loves me. He loves to be played with. He loves interacting with me. So he's going to get so much more out of this, having me sat here every day. This is my desk. This is where I do my day-to-day -day job. So I'll be here every day, pounding away where he'll be there over my shoulder, looking at the official secrets, um, interacting with me. Um, I just have to do this. As you can see, he loves to play with me. This is his interaction. So although this is a very bare tank, that's on purpose right now. We might develop this over time, but he wouldn't like plants. Uh, he doesn't. No decoration would be for him, it would be for me. So we might put in some hardscape to make it look a little bit nicer for me, some strokes or something like that. But he does like to charge about. That's kind of his thing. He will fly up and down the tank. If you put in too many things in there, there's a risk of him hurting himself. Um, he's perfectly happy just having the space. And talking of the space, this is a 5 foot by 2 foot by 2 foot tank. It is loads of space for him. He can grow old gracefully in here. This can be his forever home. He will be happy with this. He's currently kind of 12, 13 inches at the moment. Um, still probably got a little bit of growing to do in him. And he can do that in here. He's got plenty of space to move around. Filtration, we've gone with the Fluval FX2. I really like the FX2. It's quite small and compact, so if you've got a smaller cabinet, um, that might work for you. Not a, not a concern I have here. I just happen to have an FX2. And I really like the Fluval suction cups because they stick really well. So the intake and the outlet are stuck to the sides really well, and I can hide the heater behind them quite well. Humphrey has a bit of a thing for cylindrical objects and attacking them at all costs. So... 
titanium feeders might be a thing for my future, but that's what he's on at the moment. Uh, as well as that, feeding wise, Humphrey's generally on a dry food diet. We stick to things like a mixture of fluval bug bites, hikari, cichlid, solid gold, sinking pellets, um, various, various flower horn or large cichlid pellets. I like to chop and change and move things around, but he also gets little treats every now and again. He even eats live foods and um, things like crickets and stuff from a lizard's when they're not finishing them off. He'll quite happily polish them off. He even polished off a load of wasps recently, which I was thankful for, but I didn't really get how he didn't get stung or why that didn't affect him. But yeah, six months later or a year later, he seems to be fine. Um, but yeah, he is a voracious eater. He is very, very interactive. He will play with you. My kids love to come down here and, like you see, he will just chase around my hand. The The number one rule of any fish tank is don't tap the glass. Humphrey loves that. He just wants to attack you all the time. So that's why I was considering moving Humphrey up into the main house so as more people would see him. But I'm selfish. I want to see him more. I want to have him here and play with him. Uh, I just... He's so interactive, so colourful, so boisterous. He's just a really good thing to have right here. To He gets stuff from it as well as me getting stuff from it. So that's why I went with this one in the end. And also, this is where I do my live streams. So you're now looking at me at my live stream angle. Every Friday night, 9pm UK time, you can come and join us. Ask us anything. We do fun games, quizzes, prizes, all that kind of stuff. But now I have a co-host. He's gone. He's over there. there he is. I have a co-host. <laughs> Me and Humphrey. It's the Graham and Humphrey show. Um, and hopefully for many, many years to come. Um, that's all I wanted to show. I just wanted to show off. Basically, I've got my new tank. It's holding water. It's up and running. And my favourite fish is in it. Fantastic. Thank you very much for joining me. Like I say, come and join me on a Friday night at 9pm UK time. You can ask me anything there. If you want to subscribe, there's a link down below. If you want to join, there's a link down below. And if you want some fantastic Humphrey merch, aquariumadventures.co.uk. But if nothing else, thank you very much for joining me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!